guys, welcome to my channel. My name is African Millennial. I haven't done pre-recorded video in a long time, so it's good to be back. Today we're gonna talk about Ghana versus Nigeria. Like, do Ghanaians and Nigerians even like each other? Now, before I get into it, emotionally speaking from feelings and emotions, I cannot answer the question for everybody, but I'll say the majority of Ghanaians and Nigerians <laughs> have no issue with each other. Like the majority of Ghanaians and Nigerians get along just fine. We eat a lot of the same foods. Fun fact, Ghana and Nigeria are actually not right beside each other. We have Togo and Benin that are actually in between Ghana and Nigeria. But I think because we're two Anglophone countries in the same region, it's like we got each other's backs kind of because we both speak english type of thing so i don't know i guess we're bonding um because of colonization unfortunately but anyways do Ghanaians and nigerians like each other for the most part yes now after feelings and emotions let's go to some historical reasons as to maybe why some of the other generations of Ghanaians and nigerians didn't get along so much there are actual historical reasons first we will look at 1969 I know you guys have heard of Ghana must go, but Ghanaians actually kicked out Nigerians out of their country first. Let me explain what happened. So in 1969, there was a progress party in Ghana. I'm probably not saying the name correctly because I don't remember. It was a while ago. But the progress party kicked out illegal, undocumented immigrants from Ghana in 1969. Now, this was a decree to kick out everybody, but because the majority of immigrants, obviously, at that time were English speaking, there was a lot of Nigerians. There weren't that many Togolese, weren't that many Ivorians, weren't that many other people. It was mostly Nigerians that actually got kicked out of Ghana because they didn't have their papers to be there. Obviously, Nigerians formed the largest population, specifically the Yoruba people formed a very large population in Ghana back in the day. This was pretty bad because some of these Nigerians were living there for like two or three generations. They were living there for a while. Now, all of a sudden, you're saying, oh, because I don't have my papers, I have to go back to Nigeria. But I'm more Ghanaian than Nigerian if my family has been here for 30, 40 years. So that sparked a bit of drama. I'm not going to sit here and lie. It's important to know that at that point, Ghana's economy was actually way better than Nigerians. Nigeria at that time at that time so that also explained why a lot of nigerians were in ghana around the 1960s fast forward to about the 1970s um about 1974 1975 then nigeria discovers that they have oil so now all of a sudden all the nigerians went back to their country <laughs> and then the Ghanaians went to nigeria because all oh, nigeria is coming up and that was really, really great. You know, um, everybody, many people, not just Ghanaians, but mostly Ghanaians were flocking to Nigeria at that point when they realized that Nigeria had oil. Like, oh, Nigeria has money now. Nigeria's doing better than Ghana now. Let's all go. In 1983, uh, Ghana was going through it. Ghana wasn't doing too good at that time either. But in 1983, the Nigerian government demanded that all illegal immigrants go back to their home place, their home country. So there was a whole bunch of Ghanaians that actually got kicked out. Obviously, it wasn't just Ghanaians that should leave, but because there were a lot of Ghanaians in there, they were basically the biggest targets. Like the Nigerian government was like, we're tired of taking care of you guys. You guys come in here, you steal our women. You come in here, you steal our men. You come in here, you do this, you do that, go back to Ghana. So that is where the whole Ghana must go back came into the picture. I know you guys seen this bag. I'm going to insert a picture. And that's where the whole Ghana must go <laughs> joke has started. And because this was more recent in history, people remember this Ghana must go. But it's kind of funny how they don't remember the Nigeria must go in the 1960s, right? So yeah, all of a sudden, a whole bunch of Ghanaians had to leave Nigeria and it kind of left a bad taste in those Ghanaians' mouths because they were like, oh, we don't have papers. Some of us have been here for years. We have our businesses here. We have our homes here. How are you just going to tell us to leave? 
but you know the government can do whatever they want because they're the government so yeah you have to follow the law yeah in 1975 though things got a little bit better with the whole um formation of ECOWAS and because Ghana and Nigeria are the biggest English-speaking countries in West Africa politically I guess that helped the relationship between Ghana and Nigeria so I guess what I'm basically trying to say is there are a lot of political reasons as to why Ghanaians and Nigerians at some point were like not really at odds but there was a bit of competition and things like that but these were I would argue that these were instances where it was just small groups of people. It wasn't really like a major thing between Ghana and Nigeria. It wasn't like it was a war. It was just kind of like for economic and political reasons, one had to kick out the other and vice versa. Now, if you fast forward to, I think it was 2018, Ghanaians ordered that Nigerians pay a million dollar, I believe, commercial license in order to sell in the market. That was something that was seen as really, really bad because again, Nigerians are in Ghana and they've been selling things for years. Now all of a sudden you're saying, oh, Nigerians are foreigners, so they have to follow all the other rules of foreigners. Again, these are things that have to do with legislation and law. It's not really in the average Nigerian or Ghanaian's control, but I do think that there has been a bit of a miscommunication in terms of some of these things, and these things probably have caused some sour um, animosity between some Ghanaians and some Nigerians. I will say, generally speaking though, there really isn't an issue between Ghanaians and Nigerians, not anything major. Obviously, if it comes to economics and politics, that can kind of change because that's just how life is. But do Ghanaians or Nigerians innately hate each other? Absolutely not. I honestly think it's more of a sibling rivalry between Ghana and Nigeria. It's like we're brother and sister. So it's like we can fight with each other even if it's kind of playfully. But then if someone else comes and does something to Nigerians, if someone else comes and does something to Ghanaians, then you will see that the Ghanaians and Nigerians will band together and get rid of that threat. So I think overall, that's how I can describe the relationship between Ghanaians and Nigerians. It's nothing really that serious, but we joke a lot. We joke a lot, especially the Jalaf Wars. Ghanaian Jalaf, I tried Nigerian Jalaf. Ghanaian Jalaf is the bomb, okay? Ghanaian Jalaf is the bomb. Anyways, that's all I'm saying, guys. My name is African Millennial. Thank you guys for being here and I'll see you guys with another video topic.